Okay, so I'm creating a shirt today using this Lumi product that was on Shark Tank. Um, it'll be my dog Mango. This is the negative that I printed using two transparencies that are taped together. So this was in the kit that you buy. Um, it's a little interesting. On the kit it, sh it shows that there's four transparencies, but it's not clear that you're supposed to print two and tape them together. And you do that so that the uh, dark areas are, are darker when they're layered. Um, I've already taped off the area that I'm going to be applying the uh, Lumi dye to. And then underneath it is um, a piece of foam core that is included with the Lumi set. So put this on here. Um, it's a purple shirt, as you can see, and I'm using this plum dye. I have no idea what the actual color, you know, how dark this purple will be when it comes out. But uh, So apparently you shake this up. Okay, and then you snap it in half, and then you spread the dye as evenly as possible across the area that you're going to apply to. So let's see how this works. I'm not sure about the snap part. Okay, so then it mentions dabbing um, the area to get off excess dye so you don't get blotchy results. Uh, I'm just not totally sure <laughs> how this will work, how even it's going to be. Because I can see some areas are maybe not mixed as well. Like there's some brown sort of tint here. But... Okay, so now I'm going to take it outside. Actually, before I go outside, I need to pin the um, transparency to the shirt. Uh, so I'm going to remove the, the tape. Let's see if this made any difference at all. Mm, no. And no, not really. That's okay. Okay. So the promise of a really clean edge, not great, but it doesn't look bad. Looks kind of cool. I'm not displeased with that. I think what I'm most worried about is if you can see it, there's like like discoloring here, like there's a, a brown sort of tint. So let's see how this goes. I'm trying to get wrinkles out. Okay. Now we'll take mango here. And we'll stick them on there. Okay. Some pins here. Okay, so now headed outside. Okay, so I'm outside. I've got this thing set up. I've got it on a timer for 15 minutes. Um, I'm recording this with a time lapse just in case we can see anything happen with the die, but otherwise I will be back in 15. Okay, so this has been outside for um, actually closer to 20 minutes, and I have no idea if this worked. <laughs> All right, so I've come back inside where it's not in direct sunlight to remove my screen here.
Okay, so that did seem to work. Cool. All right. So the next step is uh, we'll throw this in the washing machine and uh, see how. It Okay, the last step before you wear your shirt, there is a detergent that, that is included in the kit. And so I'm going to wash this. I actually recommend that you wash it twice uh, before wearing. So I'll get that started and uh, we'll be done. Okay, so here it is. This is the final result after washing. You know, it's pretty cool um, and it was fun to do. I don't know if it was that cost effective. Uh, the kit itself was $35. I feel like it's a little bit deceptive. The box implies that you can make up to four shirts. There's um, four transparencies. Um, there are, I believe there's enough ink to make four shirts, but then when you open it and you realize that you're supposed to use two transparencies for a single shirt, that seems like it's really for one usage. Um, there's only one uh, laundry detergent pouch, so really you'd have to make all the shirts at once and then wash them. So the other option is you could actually just buy, you know, the materials on your own and then just buy the ink. That's the only really, I guess, proprietary piece of this is you get the ink. You can buy it in individual packs for $4. Um, there are bottles for 15 that, say, make up to eight shirts. Um, so that might be an option. And then you would just have to either buy their transparency film, which they sell in packs of 10, or um, you could really just use your own. Um, so that's not a bad idea. Um, it definitely was fun. I, I think it's uh, if you want to do a do-it-yourself type of shirt, this isn't a bad way to go. Um, like I said, not potentially the most cost-effective way, but it's fun. Worked in the sun. You could get this done pretty quickly. The first time I did it, you know, took a little longer as I was trying to learn the process. But otherwise, uh, you know, I give it a thumbs up. It's a, a fun way to make a T-shirt.